Hi and welcome to the session. Today we will learn about conversion of units. We know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Now let's see how much 1 meter square will be equal to in centimeters. Let us multiply 1 meter by 1 meter. This will be equal to 1 meter square. Now let us start with 1 meter square. So this will be equal to 1 meter into 1 meter. And 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So let us replace 1 meter by 100 centimeters. So we will get 100 centimeters into 100 centimeters. And this will be equal to 10,000 centimeter square. Thus, 1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square. From this, we can also say that 1 centimeter square will be equal to 1 upon 10,000 meter square. Now, we generally measure the area of the land in hectares, which is denoted by HA. And 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 meter square. Now, you can notice that when we convert a unit of area to a smaller unit, that is, when we converted 1 meter square to a smaller unit, that is, centimeter square, then the resulting number of units is bigger. That is, here 10,000 is bigger than 1. So, when we convert a unit of area to a smaller unit, then the resulting number of units is bigger. For example, let us convert 5 meter square to centimeter square. So this will be equal to 5 into 10,000 centimeter square which will be equal to 50,000 centimeter square. Also, when we convert a unit of area to a larger unit, then the resulting number of units is smaller. For example, let us convert 2000 millimeter square to centimeter square. So this will be equal to 2000 upon 100 centimeter square which will be equal to 20 centimeter square. Now here we have converted a unit of area that is 2000 millimeter square to a larger unit that is centimeter square. And thus the resulting number of units that is 20 is smaller than 2000. Now we use conversion of units quite often in our day to day life. Whenever we go to some park or garden, we see paths over there. Some surrounds the garden from all sides and some are cross paths in the garden. So now let us take an example to learn how to find the area of cross paths in a garden. We are given that a rectangular lawn 7 meters by 5 meters has two paths, each 2 meter wide, running through its middle, one parallel to its length and another parallel to its breadth. Now, we need to find the cost of constructing the paths at the rate of rupees 0 0.2 
per centimeter square. Now, to find out the cost of constructing the path, we need to find the area of these paths. So, first of all, we will find out the area of path ABCD and then we will find the area of path EFGH. As we can see that the path PQRS is common to both the paths. That means to find the total area of the paths, we will add the area of path ABCD and area of path EFGH. And from that, we will subtract the area of the path PQRS. So let's find area of paths which will be equal to area of path ABCD and for this the length is 7 meters and breadth is 2 meters. So its area will be 7 into 2 meters square plus area of path EFGH for this the length is 5 meters and breadth is 2 meters. So, its area will be 5 into 2 meter square minus area of the square path PQRS. The side of this square path is 2 meters. So, its area will be 2 into 2 meter square which will be equal to 20 meter square. Now, we need to find the cost of constructing the paths at the rate of rupees 0.2 per centimeter square. But the area is in meter square. So that means first of all we need to convert this into centimeter square. Now we know that 1 meter square is equal to 10,000 centimeter square. So 20 meter square will be equal to 20 into 10,000 centimeter square which will be equal to 2 lakh centimeter square. Now let's find out the cost of constructing the paths. So this will be equal to rupees 0 0.2 into 2 lakh which will be equal to rupees 40,000. Thus, the cost of constructing the paths is rupees 40,000. With this, we finish this session. Hope you must have understood all the concepts. Goodbye, take care and have a nice day.